welcome to Kappa Day and Morgan's Wall Gaming. I am part of the uh, Edith Beer 40k Unification Wall Gamers group, which can be found in, on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description below. Next up we have the Librarian, or the, in, in this case the Rune Priest, in Phobos Armour. You can ascend to manifest two psychic powers, each when you phase and attempt to deny one. He gets, he's got a psychic hood, so he adds one to deny witch tests. Against enemy psychers that are within 12 of him. He has a camo cloak, he gets, so he gets plus two, he gets got concealed posi positions again. His weapons are bolt pistol, wolf sword, thread and crack grenades. Pistol, you know, full sword is basically a power sword, a minus three D3, uh, minus three AP, D3, and his strength which is his stats are move 6, weapon skill, ballistic skill 3 plus, strength and toughness 4, wounds 5, attacks 4, leadership 9, 3 plus, So, so again, put him in cover, cast a few powers. These powers are cast from obscuration, discipline. So, the they are. This is the shrouding. Select a friendly, a dish, dish, start his Phobos unit within 18 inches of Psyker. Until the start of your next uh, Psychic phase, any models can only shoot this unit if it is the closest target that is visible to them. Quite handy to keep a, a, a unit safe. Destroy a safe gaze. If manifested, select a friendly adeptus to start his Phobos unit with an 18 inches of a Psyker. Until the start of your next phase, Psychic phase, you can re-roll all failed hit rolls for attacks made with that unit's ranged weapons. And enemy models do not receive the benefit of cover to all to their saving throws against ranged attacks made by that unit. Nice. Temple Corridor. It's a friendly adeptus to Phobos unit within three inches of Psyker. That unit can immediately move as if it were, were its movement phase. It cannot fall back as part of this move and must advance when rolling to see how far this unit advances. Roll 3d6 and discard lowest results. Cool shadow. So, so what? Nearly unit you wanted to get into combat. Hallucination has an all charge of ships. Uh, manifested select an enemy unit with an 18 inches and visible to so psychic until the start of the next. Psychic phase subtract from one from that unit's leadership. In addition, your opponent must roll 2d6 if the result is greater than that unit's leadership characteristic. Subtract one from hit rolls made for that unit until the start of your next phase. Tenebrous Curse. Select an enemy unit that cannot fly and is visible to and within 18 inches of a star psyker. That unit suffers a mortal wound in addition to the start of your next psychic phase. 
half that unit's move characteristic and as a result of any advance or charge rolls made for it. Mind Rage. As a warp value of 6, if manifested, select an enemy model within, six di within 18 inches of a Psyker. Invisible to him. That model's unit suffers a mortal wound. Draw army is battle portion, the model you chose or the character you can choose. Well, then roll 3d6 if the result is equal to or higher than that model's leadership characteristic. You then gain one command point. I can see what I'd be doing. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the sh uh, share button, uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with the, uh, the notifications. And remember, everybody knows the dice are low.